What's good, YouTube? It's your boy P Money. Blazers and Nuggets have arguably the best game of this playoffs in a 140-137 victory for the Portland Trail Blazers on their home floor. Let's go over all the team stats. For the Nuggets, they shoot 54 of 119 for 45% from the field for, from the field. They go 15 of 42 for 36% from the three-point land. They go 14 of 20 for 70% from the free throw line. Of their 54 made baskets, they get 28 assists. They pull down 66 rebounds. They have 24 of those offensive. They get 11 steals, they get eight blocks, and they have 20 turnovers. For the Blazers, they shoot 52 of 124 for 42% from the field. They go 12 of 42 for 29% from three-point land. They go 24 of 28 for 86% from the free throw line. Of their 52 made baskets, they get 23 assists. They pull down 62 rebounds, 24 of those offensive. They get 13 steals, 5 blocks, and they have 13 turnovers. Individual stats for the Nuggets. Jamal Murray has a big game. He goes for 34 points on 14 of 32 shooting. He goes 4 of 12 from 3-point land. He goes 2 of 2 from the free throw line. He has a team high plus 6 and a plus minus. He pulls down 4 offensive rebounds, has 9 total. This is out five assists, has four turnovers, and gets himself a steal. Nikola Jokic, he also has a big game. He gets a huge triple-double. Uh, he goes for 33 points on 13 of 25 shooting. He goes four of seven from three-point land. He goes three of five from the free throw line. Finished up with a plus five. He pulled down four offensive rebounds, had 18 total, which was a game high. He also dished out a game high 14 assists. He also had a game high eight turnovers. Got himself a steal and had a block. But he was dead tired. And but we'll get into that a little bit later. Paul Millsap, he finished up with 17 points on eight of 13 shooting, and they probably should have fed him the ball more. He went one of two from three, oh of two from the free throw line. He finished up with a negative eight. He pulled down. Five offensive rebounds, had 13 total, dished out an assist, had three turnovers, got three steals, and two blocks. So, solid game from Millsap. Gary Harris probably has one of his, I think this might be his best game that he had, especially offensively. But he went th for 13 points on 6 of 12 shooting. He goes 1 of 4 from 3. Finished up with a plus 3. Pulled down an offensive rebound, had four total, dished out an assist had three steals and a block. Torrey Craig finished out the starting five with four points on two of eight shooting. Goes 0 of three from three. He pulled down four rebounds, which were offensive, six total. Uh, just out an assist, had a turnover, or two turnovers and a steal. For the bench, Will Barton stepped up big time. He finished up with 22 points on eight of 18 shooting. He goes three of seven from three, three of four from the free throw line. Finished up with a negative four. He pulled down four offensive rebounds, had nine total, just out three assists, had two turnovers, had two steals, and three blocks. So definitely Bull Barton's best game of this series. Malik Beasley, he finished up with 11 points on three of six shooting. Goes two of five from three, three of four from the free throw line. Finished up with a negative three. He pulled down an offensive rebound, had five total, and just out an assist. Mason Plumley. Finished up with three points on 0 of 1 shooting. He goes 0 of 1 from 3, 3 of 3 from the free throw line. Finished up with a negative 10. He pulled down an offensive rebound and had a turnover. And then Malik Morris finished out for the Nuggets with no points on 0 of 4 shooting. Goes 0 of 1 from 3. Finished up with a negative 4. He pulled down a rebound and had two assists. For the Blazers, CJ McCullum, he led the led the the game with 41 points on six, 16 of 39 shooting. He goes 4 of 11 from 3, 5 of 6 from the free throw line. Finished up with a plus 6. He pulled down 2 offensive rebounds, had 8 total, just out 4 assists, had only 1 turnover, 
Also had four steals and a block. So big game from C.J. McCollum offensively and defensively. <laughs> Damian Lillard. He finished up with 28 points on 10 of 24 shooting. He goes 2 of 9 from 3, 6 of 6 from the free throw line. Finished up with a plus 4. He pulled down 2 offensive rebounds, had 6 total. Also dished out 8 assists, which was a team high. Had two, only 2 turnovers and got himself 2 steals. So, big game from Dane Lillard as well. Both him and CJ were hitting some big baskets, especially in, this over, in the overtime. So general salute to both those guys because they pretty much led us to victory but we'll get into what Rodney Hill did a little bit later Enos Cantor he finished up with 18 points on 8 of 16 shooting goes 1 of 1 from 3 1 of 1 from the free throw line he finished up with a plus 2 he grabbed 6 offensive rebounds which was a game high Uh, he pulled down 15 total had 2 turnovers got himself three steals and a block so big game from Enos Cantor another big double double and it was definitely needed Mo Harkless also had a big game he finished up with 15 points on 6 of 14 shooting goes 1 of 5 from 3 2 of 3 from the free throw line finished up with a negative one he pulled down also a game high six offensive rebounds had 10 total just out three assists had two turnovers got himself a steal and two blocks so big game from Mo Harkless and he also had himself a, a double-double. Al Farouk Aminu did not have it offensively. He finished up with six points on two of nine shooting. Goes 0 of three from three. Two of two from the free throw line. Actually, he went 0 of five from three. Finished up with a plus six. He pulled down also a game high. Six offensive rebounds. Had 12 total. Just out four assists. Had three turnovers and got himself a steal. Uh, for the bench, Rodney Hood. Lifts the Blazers tonight. He finished up with 19 points on 6 of 8 shooting. Goes 2 of 3 from 3. 5 of 7 from the free throw line. Finished up with a plus 2. He pulled down 2 rebounds and the south and six. So, excellent game from Rodney Hood. Uh, this one of definitely the best game that I've seen him as a Blazer. And hitting such clutch baskets. <laughs> down the stretch when he wasn't even used that much he only got he only got 23 minutes this game the way he was just, just on fire all throughout it didn't matter if he was sitting on the bench or not just general salute to Robin Hood and Blazers must re-sign him that is a must we have to have him next season so general salute to Robin Hood and I'll touch on that a little bit more and uh, game notes but Zach Collins, he finished up with 8 points on 3 of 7 shooting. He goes 1 of 3 from 3, 1 of 1 from the free throw line. He finished up with a plus 3. He pulled down 2 offensive rebounds, had 8 total. Just out 2 assists, had 3 turnovers, a steal, and a block. So, solid game from Zach Collins. Definitely making a big impact. Seth Curry, he finished up with 5 points on 1 of 6 shooting. He goes 1 of 5 from 3, 2 of 2 from the free throw line, which iced the game. So, general salute to Curry on the free throws. He finished up with a negative one. And then Evan Turner finished out for the Blazers. Recording no points on all one shooting. He finished up with a negative six. He pulled down a rebound, dished out an assist, and had a steal. Game notes. Rodney Hood, he lifted the Blazers tonight past the Nuggets. In the first overtime, or quadruple overtime game since 1953, and only the second all-time in NBA history, where he scored seven of the Blazers' 11 points in that fourth overtime. So, general salute to Rodney Hood. Huge game, and definitely a big confidence booster for him. <coughs> Excuse me. CJ McCullum, he led all scores tonight with 41 points. He was silky out there. Well, he did take 39 shots to get his 41 points. I mean, it was one of those type of games that it was just rough for everyone. So, <laughs> the shots were definitely not falling for, for most guys. But Dame ended up finishing with 28 points on 10 of 24 shooting. So, and he had some key baskets in, in the first overtime, second overtime, third overtime, fourth overtime. When him and McCombe both. So, general salute to both of them guys. Jamal Murray, he finished up 
But the team had 34 points. And Jokic, he finished up with 33 points. So they did what they were supposed to do, but they didn't really get much help from anybody else because they really were the focal points. I mean, Barton had 22, and he shot 18 times, but I wouldn't have had Barton shooting more than Millsap because Millsap was very efficient. But it is what it is. They, I guess, in certain situations, the Blazers uh, didn't allow for Millsap to be the one to get the ball. So, general salute to the defense on that. Uh, Jokic had another triple a double in a losing effort. He had one. His last one was against the Spurs, I, I believe, in game six. And they ended up losing. They were losing pretty big, actually, I think. If I'm not mistaken. Uh, both teams had chances to win this game for sure. In regulation and in OT. <laughs> All of the OT. Hark was missed a, a huge free throw at the end of regulation, or pretty much at the end of regulation. That pretty much would have probably sealed the, the win for the Blazers because Nuggets couldn't score on the next possession anyways. So that was probably the game right there. It was all good. Curry. Curry hit those two big free throws to seal the win, so it is what it is. And I don't really have much to complain about. Got that win that we needed. Jokic, he played a ton of minutes tonight. He had a game high of 64. And he missed a huge free throw in the clutch in the fourth Listen. overtime. Uh. So uh. that was that was big. Plus he had eight Listen. turnovers tonight uh. as well. So and some of the passes Listen. that he was making uh. just were terrible. I just really didn't understand what he was thinking on, on a couple of the plays. And more than likely, it was because of fatigue. Because <laughs> he played 64 minutes and he's a big dude. And he's not the most fit guy either. He don't look like super fit to me. He's a damn good player. I mean him. He didn't have it offensively tonight. And I think that Terry Stotts should have probably went with the hot hand and Rodney Hood a little bit sooner. Because they probably would have won this game. Probably right at that first overtime. Because Rodney was not missing at all today. He only missed two shots. So should have just fed off the hot hand because everybody else was kind of they were kind of tired they were wearing down so Hood had them fresh legs and he was ready when he got back in the game he was he had a nice little skip in his step when he went over to inbounds the, the ball to the aim so I just knew that if they got him the rock he was going to produce and he was saying he said himself that he felt like he could, he could produce if, he, if they gave him a chance and he sure did so general salute again to Rodney Hood, because he's the one that saved the Blazers tonight, for sure. There's no doubt about it. So, uh, let me see. But, like I said, I can't really complain. Got the win. Next game for the Blazers, the Nuggets, will be Sunday, like in the early evening game, 4 p.m. Mountain Standard Time at the Motor Center. So, big game. This is going to be, that was a demoralizing loss for the Nuggets, so we will see how they get back. Can they come back and steal one in Portland? It's going to be tough. That that game mentally wears on four overtimes. And then you know you've got short rest, and that pressure is starting to build. And the Nuggets aren't the greatest team in late, game, like in late game situations, in my opinion, so. We'll see what happens. But this is your boy Pete Money. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Shout out to the entire LDBC.